Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Hindash, and this is the part two look of my Fenty Beauty look. This is the green money look. So I love, I love this look. It is a liner focus with shadows, and you get to see that hint of green. So it makes it very wearable, very approachable, and I can't wait for you to try this. <laughs> my model for today is the beautiful Farah, who you've seen in the part one look of this video. And I'm not gonna talk too much about this look because I wanna go in depth in the video with explaining everything. So if you wanna see how to create this look, then please keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you wanna see more videos and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Bye. All right, so we're back with part two and I've already done base in part one of the video, which I will link down below. So I'm just gonna go right into the eyeshadow. And I'm gonna start by priming her eyes with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer and blending that in with the Fenty Beauty 200 brush. And I've never noticed this before, but it does kind of leave the lids looking a tiny bit lighter, which is nice because the eyeshadows are gonna pop more. Um, I don't know if this is an effect of the eyelids being more matte, which makes them appear lighter, but I didn't really put anything on the lid, which you'll see throughout the video. And the highlight of this look is gonna be the Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows in number 10, which is Money. And that is their new green palette. But first I'm gonna be going in with an eyeliner and this is the fly pencil in the shade Bank Tank and I'm gonna be using this as a base. And I kind of completely overlooked this color in my collection. It's actually a really nice army green. And I knew I wanted to use this as a base because I wanted the shadows to have a bit more dimension and I always love to layer things. So I'm going in with a pretty heavy liner because I want it to be the focus. And I'm kind of winging it at this point because I knew I wanted to have a green moment, but I didn't want it to be too overboard. So my way of working around this was to do a thick liner and have that be the kind of the focal point and then making everything very neutral around it. Now this liner is a gel, so you have to work fast if you wanna blend it out, but I'm not gonna blend it out, so I'm kind of taking my time. And to get those edges even, you wanna look down and make sure everything is very smooth, but I am going to buff that out with a shadow, so I'm not too worried. Now that we have that really nice base laid down, I'm gonna be going in with the shadows and I'm taking the matte kind of lime green shade. And on a Fenty 220 brush, which is a pencil brush, I'm gonna to start to kind of cover that color. And because it is a lighter color, it's just gonna kind of buff out the edges and give it more of an interesting dimension. And as I keep blending it out, it's just going to kind of create that hazy look around the liner, which you'll get to see now. And then taking that same color and extending it out from the liner and into the crease, because I'm kind of, you know, blending that shadow in and seeing what it does on the eyelid and kind of figuring out what color I want to lay down next. And because that color was a bit too light for her crease and I felt like she needed a bit more depth, I'm taking that kind of really interesting olivey brown shade. It is a neutral brown, but it has a hint of olive in it, which I find very interesting, actually. It looks very neutral on the eyes in a good way, and I think it's a perfect pairing with the greens. So I'm going to be working that in back and forth into the crease until I get a nice, sharp, but diffused blend, focusing that on the outer corner. So I'm going to continue to smudge that color back and forth, again, keeping the intensity on the outer corner where that brown meets the green. I'm also gonna be taking whatever is left on that brush and going over the green where I did just to add more dimension and bring back that darker green that's underneath very lightly. I'm also gonna be taking a blending brush. This is the 210 brush and with nothing on it, I'm just gonna diffuse the edges of the crease. And I love doing this because sometimes you really don't need to add more product. You just wanna blend and diffuse whatever you have laid on. And this is a really good trick if you feel like You've put a color that might be a bit too intense, or you just wanna blend everything out without adding anything else. Now, I also really wanted to utilize the shimmer shades in the palette, but there are kind of very different shimmer shades. There's a shade that matches that matte green, and there's more of an emerald shade, which I feel like didn't fit in with this particular look. So I'm going with the kind of shimmery forest green shade that matches the matte shadow that I did. And starting from the center of that liner, I'm gonna be placing that shimmer and blending it out, but not all the way. So keeping that outer wing matte. And then diffusing whatever is left closer to her inner corners, so that way you get a very gradual shimmer, which looks 
so good when it's catching the light, when she's blinking and opening her eyes. And it gives those greens a lot more dimension. They're going to look very multi-tonal, even though we used just two greens, two colors. Well, if you want to count the liner that we did underneath. And I'm just going to go back in with that brown and kind of perfect and deepen that edge. Now that I've seen the shimmer and I've seen that we've added more light to the eyes, I want to add more depth and more darkness. And now that I zoomed out, you can see what that eyeshadow base did. Even though it is clear, I feel like it just added kind of a soft light to the lids. And that's kind of exactly what I wanted to do in the center of the lid. I didn't want to add any color because I want to keep it very earthy and she is very tan. So I feel like those colors and her skin tone worked beautifully with the green. So again, I'm just going to be repeating what I did on the first eye to the second eye. So nothing crazy. <laughs> But you get to see that shimmer as she's looking down and as she's opening her eyes. It just looks very multi-dimensional. And you guys, I always say this, but it's so true. If you want to work any kind of bold color, any color that you're a bit unsure of, just pair it with a brown. Pair it with a neutral brown, a brown that suits your skin tone, and it's going to work so well. And it's going to be very approachable, very wearable. It's going to be less intimidating for you. So really don't be afraid to play with color. Just do it at your own pace. If you want to just do a lower lash line or an eyeliner, you can do it. <laughs> Moving on to contour, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Match 6 in the shade Truffle. And I'm going to be contouring the tip of the nose and the lips, which I love to do. Not every time, but I, I do love this because I'm going with a neutral, very earthy toned look all over the face. And a bit on the cheekbones and temples, jawline, and chin. I'm also going to be contouring her forehead. So just placing that all along the forehead in tiny strokes. And then taking my 195 brush, I'm going to be blending everything in. And because I use this brush for a cream contour in my first video, it already has some product in it. So it's going to blend the product much more easily into the skin. And you guys, I really think the matchsticks are one of my favorite Fenty products for my kit and to use on people. And I feel like it's a very multi-use product but the cream bronzers are really foolproof so i feel like for the everyday person the cream bronzers are a hit and i'm going to be taking that contour with my 200 brush which is an eyeshadow brush and just kind of doing more detailed contouring on the nose and with whatever is left on the brush i'm just going to be blending that eyeshadow into the brow bone just so we get a seamless color story throughout the face for cream blush, I'm going to be taking the Cheeks Out Cream Blush in the shades Petal Poppin and Rosé Latte and mixing those together. And again, with the same brush that I used to contour, I'm just going to be pressing that into the skin and buffing it in. Basically, I'm stippling it onto the skin. <laughs> and I really wanted to create those deep, peachy, flush tones on the face. So adding color but keeping it very neutral and earthy. Which I love. And for highlights, I'm taking the Kilowatt in Mean Money and Hustler Baby, which is, again, my favorite. And just putting that on the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, and a bit on the chin. And then taking a highlight brush, I'm putting that on the cheekbones. So basically the high points of the face. I've already done her brows in the first video, so I'm just touching up the brows with the Brow MVP Sculpting Wax and just pressing that onto the brows because, you know, things move around when you're using brushes. So just pressing that in and brushing it out to give us that nice, fluffy, effortless look. I've lined her lips with a very neutral liner and I'm using the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in Unbutton, which is such a beautiful peachy nude. And I'm taking that with a brush because I don't want to deposit a lot of color. I still want to keep that ombre and that gradient on the lips. And I want that liner to stay there, the lip liner. So again, taking it very, very thinly, almost like a lip stain, and just working that brush in, and you'll get such an even, weightless layer. You're not going to feel like you're wearing a liquid lipstick. I love using liquid lipsticks with a brush. If you haven't tried that, just try it. It's a very simple trick and very, very effective. And then I'm going to take individual lashes. These are the Ardell Individuals in Medium, and just putting them on the outer corner. And that is the complete green money look. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I can't wait to show you the next and final look. And that's going to be on a different model. It's going to be the wine look, which is kind of very bold and a bit different than this. A lot different. <laughs> and yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.